98FM. This is 98FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. Weekdays from 10 a.m. on 98FM. On Valentine's Day, Olympic swimmer Tom Daly and his husband shared a photo of an ultrasound. The proud fathers are expecting a baby and like many parents, were proud to show off their baby scan publicly. But the reaction uh, to the news was very mixed and shows that sadly, homophobia is still alive and well. The amount of people who made homophobic comments like, that poor child needs a mother and a father. Another one said, that's disgusting. And a columnist for the Daily Mail went one step further uh, with this headline. Please don't pretend two dads is the new normal. Children benefit uh, most from being raised by a man and a woman. Here's what the article had to say. Uh, And the only reason we're reading this out is to see if there are actually many people who still feel that way. In a country that voted for marriage equality uh, nearly three years ago, are we a country that still has a problem with this? And that's what I want to find out. Um, are there many people uh, that believe that a child needs a mother and father like this uh, columnist? Here's what uh, was written in the paper. I supported civil partnerships long before it was fashionable. And I'd rather children were fostered by loving gay couples uh, than condemned to rot in state-run institutions. That said... And despite the fact that countless single parents do a fantastic job, I still cling to the belief that children benefit most from being brought up by a man and a woman. Which is precisely what worries me most about the daily publicity stunt. Here we have two men drawing attention to the fact that they are having a baby. But where's the mum, the possessor of the womb, which features in this photograph? She appears to have been written out of the script entirely. And I'd love to hear from you on this on 67979981. You can text or WhatsApp the programme on 0877989899. Do we still have a problem with this? I know of a number of gay couples that are very successfully and very happily uh, raising uh, a child or children. In one case, children, two children. And the kids are as happy as Larry. The uh, parents are good parents. They're giving them a good, stable environment. They're giving them a good, stable upbringing. Yet you read people having comments like that. Call me right now on 67979981. Text or WhatsApp the program 0877 989898. Elaine, you're on 98FM. How are you, Elaine? Hi, how are you? Good, thank you, Elaine. What did you want to say? Um, no, I just left a comment there. Um, I used to work with kids um, from broken families who live in care. And um, my opinion would be that children, I suppose, no matter who the loving adults are in their lives, I think any child would be happy to come from a house of responsible adults that love them, whether they be men, women, man and woman, whatever. Mm. So that was my opinion on it. <laughs> And uh, I, uh, I think, and this is what I'm really trying to find out today, I think most people agree uh, that as long as a child is getting a loving, stable uh, family life, it doesn't really matter whether it's a man and a woman, two women, two men, whatever, as long as they're uh, getting a... And for that matter, and in fact, in fact, this guy, uh, Richard Littlejohn is the guy who wrote this column, uh, he even said uh, the fact that countless single parents do a fantastic job. So we have to include single parents as well. As long as a child is being brought up in a loving, caring environment, that should be enough, shouldn't it? Indeed, yeah. But I think, um, <clears throat> like you said earlier, I think the the home, homophobity or whatever you want to call it is, is very much still alive um, in the world and in this country as well. And um, I think we'd all like to think that everyone would be of a similar opinion to the one that you're you're talking about there. But I don't know if it is if it is a reality, and um, because even if you look back to the to the referendum a few years ago about marriage equality, I mean that that even highlighted the problem we have in this country with homophobia. And it did, thought, it did, but yeah. it 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 also showed that the majority of us um, uh, who voted at the time don't have a problem, aren't homophobic, and we're quite Indeed. happy to have marriage equality, so... Indeed, and that's, I suppose, I suppose the, that's the aim, that's the aim, and it, it, did, it did shine through, thankfully. 
and hopefully uh, that's that's that will be that will be uh, continuously what will win that opinion of you know children do belong in a home of people that love them regardless of the people's gender as long as the people love them that's all they need because we all know the stories of people who've been raised by a, a man and a woman and they had a desperately unhappy childhood they witnessed abuse blah 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 uh, they oh, certainly sorry. didn't benefit from those uh, upbringings no, definitely not. Like, and I mean, it can't be said. I mean, someone's gender doesn't necessarily determine their ability to be a parent. Like, you know, I mean, everyone, everyone, it just starts off as as everyone does being a parent, and like that. Yeah, we we view what happens afterwards. Like, mm. you can't you can't stereotype someone to be a bad parent just because of their gender. Like, that's a ridiculous notion, really, isn't it? You know. Okay, but stay there for one yeah. second. 6797981 is our telephone number. You can text or WhatsApp the programme 0877 989898. 0877 989898. Um, John, you're on 98FM. Hiya, John. Morning, Adrian. How are you doing? Good morning, John. How are you? Not too bad. John, you have a problem with this. Why? Adrian, I have no time for the gay agenda within society today, and I have to say, a child needs a man and a woman, or a mother and father, and I'm sorry, I don't have any other beliefs than that. So that, that's also um, having an opinion on people who are raising children on their own? No, at the, well, I mean, at the end of the day, most, most people who are raising children are not have a have a person, a man, in the equation somewhere along the line. Not necessarily, no, no, well, no. Well... You don't really, you know, at the end of the day, my view on this is a child needs the benefits of a mother and a father. And I don't care what anybody says, you can't have these other families, whatever you want to call them. So when you hear of um, somebody like this, uh, this guy used to be on Sky News at one stage. I agree with the uh, the fellow who wrote the uh, report there. Where was the woman in this uh, equation? Where was her mention in it? She must be a surrogate mother, so she's made an arrangement to give birth to a child for this gay couple. Yeah, but at the end of the day, they haven't said anything about her. So, I mean, at the end of the day, why isn't she mentioned as well? Okay, the question is, um, uh, you know, isn't it all that we ever hope for that two, uh, that a, a, a child is brought up by loving parents? Is that what we strive for? Is that not what is ideal for children? No, because you're going to leave the child open to ridicule. Because if let let's be honest, if a child goes to school and says I got two mummies and two daddies, that that child's going to be bullied. And I mean, you can't say they're not because they will be. Are they it's going to be? Not the normal I... way. It's it's not really the normal way families are in this country. This is a new concept by your liberal do-gooders out there, and they you know embrace everything. The fact of the matter is, most people always go with the notion of having a a, a father and a mother. When it, when it comes to a family, and that's the that's the model. that's the way people have always perceived families to be. So this idea, the new wave of having this type of family, that type of family, it's a liberal agenda. It's not a normal agenda. That's the way I look at it. And any child. Okay, tell me, at, uh, tell me, John, and I'll continue the conversation with you in a second. What is wrong with a child being raised by two women or two men? The fact of the matter is the child needs the attributes from a father and it needs the, the attributes from a mother. It needs both sides of the coin to okay, develop so properly. Okay, so you're also conde- y- you're also saying it is not right or not normal for a lone parent to be raising a child. Well, in the ca- no, in the case in the case of a lone parent, you will have a man involved somewhere along. No, the not line. necessarily. So they're, never all, they're never always on God, their own. John, if you never listen to always. this, if you ne- if you listen to this show at all, you know how many deadbeat dads we have in this country. Yep. Owen, you're on ninety eight FM. How are you, Owen? What's the story, Agent? Owen, you believe that people like John, who is totally against this, uh, are what's wrong with the world? Yeah, what's like, what's his problem with uh, two men or two women bringing up kids? It doesn't make a difference. Once the kid gets everything you need, he has all the love that's there. That's all that matters. Like. And that was one of the things I said to him a couple of minutes ago, that surely what we all strive for is children to have a happy, healthy upbringing. Yeah, that's all you need for children. Children don't need to be told that uh, they need to have a mother and a father and all this shit. He's just uh, bet up the church's arse. That's what his problem is. He needs to forget that old-fashioned fucking bullshit basically. mind, mind, mind and, the language on please um, and he needs to move into bleeding uh, this this century you know what I mean like, it's people like that they're just around the world like, just, so no... you, but, hang on there for one second let me go to um, Sarah you're on 98 FM hiya Sarah 
Hi, Adrian. How's it going? Good, Sarah. What did you want to say? Um, I just, I chimed in there and I thought, I, I actually, I can't believe that I heard him say, that guy, I don't know his name, say that basically that children need a man and a woman. I've raised my kids for six years all on my own and not a bother to them. I wasn't a bother with them. And um, two men probably do a better job than I would with, on my own with the kids. Mm. And so I don't know what the problem is. Like it's uh, like okay. I so you've raised your children. Cares. You've raised your children on your own with no father in sight. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Now, John, you were saying nope. a couple of minutes ago that you know there's always a father around somewhere. Here's a lady no, ra- raising her children on her when own. When he's around, here's something for you, John. When the father is around, he wrecks their head more than anything. He hurts them. I'll give yep, you an example. Fact, Last Sunday. Now, hang on a minute. No, Last Sunday, my kids sat around. in the doorstep waiting on their father. I said, uh, like, look, women can raise kids just as well as men. Two men could raise them probably better than I can. I go, they don't need a male figure in their life. They don't have a granddad in their life. They don't have any of that. My kids don't. Yeah, they don't the have any of that. Have, yeah, yeah, but the fact that they do have a man in their life, whether he's there or he's not. But, they they don't, don't, but listening but to what they, she's saying, listen hang on. To listening they to what she... Yeah, listening to what she's saying, this man in their life isn't making a a positive contribution to their life. He left sitting at the doorstep waiting on him last week. He doesn't speak to them. He doesn't ring them. In fact, he plays daddy to another child that's not even his. He doesn't, he's not in their life. They don't need a man in their life. They've got a mother that loves them. Once they've got one stable person there that loves them, that's all kids need. It doesn't matter if they're female, male, whether it's two of them, one of them, 12 of them. It doesn't make a difference. My kids are fine. They're happy, healthy. They're, they're, They're the happiest kids going. That may and be so, but any child needs the influence of a, a, a father and a mother. There's, there's no way you no, can they say don't. any other way. That is it's madness that you're saying that. And just, like, that is crazy. No, they don't. So they do, there's something wrong with... Do you, think, so do you think, think that's an old-fashioned attitude, Sarah? Yeah, big time. It might be old-fashioned, but that's, that's the way it is. I it's, but it's, it's not just old-fashioned, it's complete... I'm not even going to say what I was going to say. It's completely, utterly wrong. It is wrong. So what, in your opinion, then, what would be wrong with my children because they don't have a male in their life? I didn't say there was anything wrong with your children. Well, then what's the your, problem then? Your children do have a male in their life. But they Whether don't. You're not listening. I, I think you need to clean out your ears. They do not have a male in their life. For six years, they hadn't. Now, they do now. Right this second, they do. They do. But they didn't for six years, and there wasn't a bother. Wasn't That's a bother the on them. They do have a didn't male care. in their life. No, they do now, but it's not their father. He's not okay, their father. The point is, they do have a male in their life. That's what I'm saying. But they didn't for six years of their life. Sorry, actually, could have been seven. You see, and John, I, 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 I'm it just curious. No I'm just curious to know what, uh, if, uh, for example, I know of one particular couple, okay? Uh, two blokes, they got married a couple of years ago and they are now raising a beautiful uh, daughter and she wants for nothing. She is so happy. She's so well looked after, so well cared for. That is all we should aspire for our children, is it not? What you should aspire what for your children is... Like, hang on, let, let him answer, sir. No, no. What you should aspire for your children, Bodge, uh, what I'm saying here in, in a nutshell is any child needs the influence of a father and a mother. No more, no less than that. Right. What what can the father give that's so great that a mother on her own can't? Or what what is it that the two people together can give that one or two of the same sex can't? Like on their own? I don't understand what it is that you're trying to actually say that is so great about it. What matters? Like, what matters is if it's same sex, if they're on their own. Like, what is the big deal if it's a man there's and a woman? There's different influences a man can give to uh, give when bringing up a child. There's different influences like, a woman. Like what? Developmental. Like what? Developmental. Um, let, let's 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 go to basic on this. When you have a child and you have a man and a woman, right? If you have a male child, uh, yeah, a father can talk about when a child when a male child is developing. They can talk about issues relating to a man. Um, you know, no, I've done that. No, I've when a woman, hang on, when a woman has the same, she has a female child. She can do the same. She can discuss relative issues that are uh, you, you know uh, associated with the uh, female agenda. Or, right. uh, so, you, you know, body and stuff like that. So at right, the end of the day, you do you need right both now. sides. You need no, both you sides don't. of the coin. To, no, you don't. To raise no, you don't. I'm going to stop you, you right. One side just doesn't work. Just doesn't I'm going work. to stop you right there because that's that's crazy. That is absolute bollocks. Because I've raised my son and I told him all about his body parts and I've I've step by step. And told you've been him able exactly to do all, all of that as, a, as I've done a all, that all on my own. Mm. All on my okay, own. Okay, stay there so for one second. Crap. Stay there for a second. Six seven nine seven ninety eight one is our telephone number. You can text or WhatsApp the program. Oh eight seven seven ninety eight ninety eight ninety eight. Oh eight seven seven. 98, 98, 98. I want to read the comments again. 
that were made in the Daily Mail by columnist uh, Little Richard Littlejohn. Here's what he said. Um, I still cling to the belief that children benefit most from being brought up by a man and a woman, which is precisely what worries me most about the Daily Publicity stunt where they... Uh, published a photograph of their um, baby, their baby scan. Uh, he says, but where's the mum, the possessor of the womb, which features in this photograph? She appears to be even written out of the script uh, altogether. Um, but this guy basically believes that a child needs to be brought up by a man and a woman. Now, Mandy, you're sick of bigotry, are you? Oh my God, sick is not the word. I'm actually fuming listening to the comments. Absolutely human i'm sick of the bigots in this comment in this country it's just it's ridiculous to think that we have a country that we've we were the first to vote in gay marriage and people still think like this mm. people still think like this it's outrageous absolutely outrageous and that man's comment about you can't speak to your son i have a 14 year old son and i speak to him all the time about everything my husband speaks all the time about everything to his daughters so it's absolute bullshit i believe if a child is loved a child needs to be loved and cared for, given a hug and a cuddle, that's all they need. It doesn't matter wh how many people love them. And once th they're loved. Yes, and I think a lot of people uh, agree with that, that once they're loved, that's all that you sh we should aspire for, be yeah. aspire to, because w we can, you know, have countless stories of p kids that were brought up by a mammy and a daddy, and they had a miserable childhood, and they were abused, well, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, I know plenty of women that should have never had children yes. that have a maternal bone in their body. And to, to say that Tom Daly or any other man can't love a child, it's just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Mighty John, I, 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 I didn't hear you saying they can't love a child. Uh, you're saying that the child misses out on something, is it? Yeah, I'm saying basically, Adrian, that for the future development of any child, you need a man and a woman. End of, no more, no less. But I, I don't understand your reason and why. Why do they need a man and a woman? Because any child, when they're, de when they're, when they're developing, you know, when they're becoming a child into a, man, into a teenager, into a, a man or a woman, they need the influences for, from both parents in order to be a well-grounded individual but, within But society. does it really matter what sex that parent is? If they have well, a good, I, stable role model in their life, does it matter what gender they are? It does matter. It, it does matter what sex they are, and it does matter the fact that they need both um, influences from both parents. That's the way I but look at it. You not, but do you not agree there's lots of different parents that actually shouldn't even have children, whether they're male or female, anyway? So it's, well, I mean, we're not talking about... Oh, you see, we're going off the point here again. You started with a simple point, now you're going off on tangents. The fact of the matter is, any child that has been born... If you ask a child today, uh, would you like a mommy and daddy? They will say yes. If you say to a child today, would you like mommy and mommy or daddy, daddy? They'll go, no, I want a mommy and daddy. So the fact but, is, any child wants the influence of both parents, and that's and that's and that's at the heart of any issue today. I, Whether you'd I, like I, to agree with it or not, I, I'm not into this, you know, modern kind of, uh, you know, you have well, obviously not. of families. No, I'm not because it yeah, it doesn't do much for society as a whole. The fact I'm saying to you is, any child that tell you they want the mother and father, they don't they don't want the mother and mother or father father. They want the mother and father. They want the but what we're speaking about is infants. We are talking about homosexual males or homosexual females well, raising as, as a that child. That child said, as, but that child would know no difference. They wouldn't know any difference. But, but as that man said in his letter, or that uh, going back to the issue, is what happened to the mother of these? Uh, this kid, where is she in the equation? She's not even well, mentioned in it. I'm sure she's been very well looked after. It and doesn't that, matter, again, but she's not been mentioned. And I mean, that's but the that, point he's that was to make her body, issue. and but that was her body and her decision. I know, and but Sarah gets like to remain anonymous. That's and and point, most likely that's the that point is the case. Mentioned. Where is she in this equation? But, uh, uh, but, uh, but sorry, John, it is most likely, particularly with a high-profile guy like Tom Daly, that this woman wants to remain anonymous, doesn't want yeah. her name she out has there. She already made her decision about what yeah, she wants to do, and I'm sure she didn't what... take it lightly. Yeah, but you aren't seeing what the report are saying. Where is the woman in this equation? She's been wiped out. She's not even being considered. Because she probably wants anonymity. Yeah. She probably struck a deal with these two men to uh, carry their baby for them and then hand the baby over and she doesn't want the publicity surrounding it. Yeah, but the point is, I'll say it again, because obviously you aren't getting the point. The point he's making, he's not on about anonymity and all this kind of stuff. The point he's making is that this woman is not even being mentioned 
in the article. Most likely, John, most likely because she doesn't want to be. Well, exactly. you don't know that. You don't no, know I don't, that. I, I don't know that. It. Yeah, no, I, I don't know that, and I am maybe assuming she does it. want to be mentioned, and maybe they're not mentioning her. Maybe they're just going, oh, look at us, aren't we great, and this is it. Okay, you know, say, 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 Mandy, Mandy, what do you say? Not, not only to John, John's not the only one who feels this way, although at this moment he's the only one who's rang in to air that opinion. But anyway, um, the, the, the guy in the uh, Daily Mail that I was quoting, Richard Littlejohn is his name, he said... Well, Littlejohn is a very appropriate name for my must say, Adrian. <laughs> he says, I still <laughs> cling to the belief that children benefit most from being brought up by a man and a woman. I absolutely do not agree. Do not agree. I'm a heterosexual woman. I have three children of my own, and I do not agree with that statement. Absolutely not. Stay there for a second. Um, uh, Philip, you're on 98 FM. Hi, Philip. How are you doing, Adrian? Good, thank you, Philip. What did you want to say on this? Good. Well, I think what John is talking about is nonsense. I have three sisters and a brother, and my mother passed away in the early 80s when I was only an infant. Mm -hmm. And we were raised by my father. And this is the early 80s. My father worked a full-time job, had his own business, and raised every one of us. And every one of us turned out fine, wanted for nothing. Mm. Now, you know, yeah, we would have loved our mother, but we had the happiest of childhoods. You know, and my father taught myself and my brother how to be a man. He taught my sisters how to be ladies, which they are. We didn't have a mother. My father raised us. So this crack of, oh, you need a man and a woman to raise a child, I don't believe that at all. I'm having first-hand knowledge of it practically my entire life, you know, is ridiculous. A man can raise children. A woman, single mothers, I have the utmost respect for single mothers because it's the hardest job in the world. Mm. And the same for single fathers. There's a lot of fathers out there that don't get the credit for raising kids on their own and doing the job that they did. I have, <clears throat> I have four kids myself now, with myself and my wife, and everything I know about raising kids, I've learned from my father who raised us on his own. So I, I don't believe in this. And to Tom Daly and his husband, congratulations. The best of luck to them, and I hope everything turns out well for them. And but, let me know, ask you, <clears throat> with regard to the sort of opinion that we're hearing from John, but there are others who feel that way. You know there are. Um, absolutely. But they're small, narrow-minded people who, you know, hark back to the days of, you know, again, I don't like saying it, but Catholic Church still runs the majority of this country. You okay, know, but let, let me ask, uh, John, does it upset you to be called small, narrow-minded? No, let me let me just say this now. I mean, this has nothing to do with the Catholic Church, and people always bring that in. The fact I'm just saying is that I've done a lot of sociology in my time, and I can tell you one thing. I've done a lot of stuff around this issue, and I can tell you that any child, when they're born, when, they, when they're developing through life, want the influence of both the mother and the father. And if you say to any child, uh, you know, who would you rather be with? They're always going to say, if you say to them, would you want to be with mommy, mommy, daddy, daddy, or mommy, daddy? The first, the, the first group they're going to gravitate towards is the mother and father. And it doesn't matter with this new wave of thinking. At the end of the day, children will always look for the stability of both parents at the end of the day. That's, that's no, but, but, but sorry, John. That's, 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 John, some, uh, some children have been brought up from the get-go by two mammies or two daddies, so they know no different. No, I mean, that chap just said there, I mean, I, uh, I don't know who he is, but what I'm saying is, you would, you said there, you would have liked to know him. You would have liked to have a mother as well. Of course you would, but I, I have a mother. I don't regret not having my mother. No, I, I know, I I know you don't regret it, but you would have liked that, the idea of having a, mo- a mother and a father as you were growing up. Wouldn't of that course I would, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't change the way I was brought up. No, and I'm not, saying, I'm, not saying I, you, I'm not saying you need to. I'm saying that that's the line that that's the line I picked up on. That you would have liked to have a mother as well as a father. Of course I would. Yeah, of course yeah. I would. But I didn't. That's the and point I I'm making. That most children. That's no, the point no, I'm no, making. No, no, no. But John, listen most to what he just said. Want the mother and father. He didn't have any choice in the matter. That's no, we're not the... talking about that chopping. I'm not talking about that chopping directly. I'm saying most children today want the mother and father when they're grown up. Yeah, I, I, I don't know where you're getting this from. Yeah, but that's not the way life works out. This is life. This isn't about what kids want. It's life. My mother was taken from me. I don't regret that. And I'm because sorry to hear I had that. a wonderful childhood with my father. My father did an absolute standout job. I'm the man today, I am today because of my father. And yeah. I'm sure if my mother was around, she would have taught me some other things. Maybe I would have been a different man. But I'm a good man. I raised four children with my wife. And my father did an absolute standout job. He put everything on the line 
for me and my sisters and my brother, who, by the way, people wanted to take us off him because they thought, no, he's never going to be able to raise them. A man raising kids on his own in the 80s? Ridiculous. It's bullshit. My father did a fantastic job, and I love him for everything that he's done and given us, and nobody can take that away from him. Just because he raised us on his own, you know, doesn't mean that there has to be a woman around. You know, my sister is the woman uh, yesterday. No, the, no, the, no, the point I'm making is that most the most children, if you ask them, they will want a mother and father. In but the they life. don't get that choice. Kids don't have that choice. Life happens. There's no, there's no, yeah, okay, well, hang on, my father could have said, well, look, I'll go out and get a woman and I'll bring her home and she can help me raise the kids. That's, that's a decision. I had no choice in the fact that my mother was taken away from us. Of course, kids. Uh, kids and again, I'm sorry say, to hear that. Why, uh, of course, kids are going to say, well, yeah, we want a mammy as well, or we want a daddy. It doesn't work out that way. It really doesn't. No, you it know, doesn't. And, and I mean, life can be tough kids. in a lot of ways. And, I, and I, 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 actually, I actually hear your pain on that one. At the end of the day, all I'm just saying is, from a, from a kind of a, a society point of view, if you ask a child, you know, who do you want to be with? They'll always go for the, as they call it, the nuclear family, the mother and father. That's the way well, it goes. But, but, but there is no nuclear family anymore. That's, that's, that's... No, no, no with your new, no, no what, nuclear no, what's family way anymore. Thinking, no. no, there's no nuclear family anymore. That's, that's, no, that's the traditional nuclear on. family has right. been kind of so, so, somewhat sidetracked. Which is not helping society in the long run. I don't, I don't well, think it is. Well, hang on. A father who abuses his kids and the mother sits by and does nothing. It's, what kind of nuclear family is that? Well, I'll agree with you. It's not much of a one. No. No, there's no, but which exactly? There's no nuclear family. It uh, f- ma- Philip, can, can I ask you, what, what do you say to the many people who share the opinion of John may not find it easy to express that opinion because they know they're going to be shot down for it, um, but feel the same way as as people like John or this guy, Lit- Richard Little John, that I was quoting, uh, saying that they believe that children benefit from a mammy and a daddy rather than two mammies and two daddies. Well, Adrian, that's very easy for them to say, especially if they're in a loving relationship with a wife and have children, a wife or a husband and have children. But there's no such thing as a nuclear family anymore. There's no such thing as a normal family. Men raise kids on their own. Women raise kids on their own. And that's the way it is. There's influences from both sides. You know, from my first-hand experience, I didn't have a mother growing up, but I had a father. And we celebrate Mother's Day with my father because my father is my mother and my father. So there's no such thing as a nuclear family. You know, you can have 2.4 kids and a dog. That's great. Brilliant. If you can do that, I do that. I have a wife and four kids. My sisters all have husbands and kids, and my brother has a wife and kids. Hmm. But there's no nuclear family. There's, there's no reason why a man, or two men or two women, or a, ma- a single man or a single woman can't raise kids. I think it's, it's a, ridiculous, a ridiculous statement to come out and say, yeah, oh, okay, nuclear we'll stay, family. We'll stay there you know. for one second, because, Marion, okay. you agree with what John was saying to a certain extent. I do, and I'm basing it on the facts of um, cases in the UK. For example, there are a lesbian couple there. They've now separated. One was the genetic mother, so she donated the egg. The mm-hmm. other was the birth mother. And that genetic mother, has no, now that they have split up and they have three children between them, that genetic mother has no access to that child, and it, to either of those children. And in the other case, those kids, do you think those kids are not going to ask, who's my father? I just look at the adoptive case, the adoptees of yesteryear, and the troubles they had jumping through hoops in trying to find that parents. And I'm just saying in regards to surrogate, surrogacy, sperm donation, do you think these children will never, ever ask, who's my father, who's my mother? I'm just looking at cases in the UK where there's now a group set up for children who, who, um, who don't know their father mm. because of sperm donation. And one of them says, I feel, like a, I feel like a byproduct of a Petri dish. They look around, the, 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 you know, they meet men on the street, they're wondering, is that my father? You know, do you think these children are never, ever going to ask questions? We're just fooling ourselves here. Uh, Philip, what about that point? That's that's an angle I never really thought of, to be quite honest with you. What what do you say to that? Sorry. You go on, Philip, yeah. 
Look, you can always research. You can always find. Of course, you can ask the questions. When I grew up, when I was a toddler, and I would ask, "Well, where's my mommy?" You know. But you know always, who your mom ha- You know who your mother is. I'm sure you know yes, extended you family always, and relatives. You can always but find out. You can, you can track. You can track down How? a parent. You can find a parent. You can ask the questions. If, if I went through that, uh, if I went through that process with my wife, um, if she couldn't, God forbid, if she couldn't have kids and we had to get egg donation, I would have absolutely no problem in helping them track down. Now, I raised that child. That is my child. I am the child's father. Biological father is somebody that donated or a biological mother who donated an egg. You can track them down. You can have a relationship with them. I wouldn't have a problem. These are realistic cases. People People do this anonymously. People do it anonymously. That's that's the whole thing about sperm donation clinics and, and egg donation. It's all anonymous. But you have the option when you grow up if I had a child like that and they grew up and decided they wanted to know, I would help them. I would do everything they could. Because, yes, a child has a right to know. But they but will know that the I am UK, the father or my wife is the mother. Do you know, I have these children them. don't know their, their natural, their natural well, father. And the on process, top of that, as I said, I brought up a case where there was a lesbian couple. One was the genetic mother who donated the eggs. The other was the birth mother. That genetic mother has no access... To that child. Yes, and you're always, you're always going to get. If you give up an egg for donation, well, then that's that's but what you're doing. You know, you know. No, but, 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 and, 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 sorry to cut across oh. you, uh, Marion. We will always get extreme cases like that in any sort of uh, family yeah, but, or, or whatever. Yeah. But, but you don't need an egg. That's the whole point of donation. You you don't need no, she was the mother. She's the nat- natural genetic mother. Those children consist of her genes. That birth mother has no genetic connection. And yet, who's the father? And do you think these children are not... I, the, the two mothers, some father they may not even know. And they're, they're not going to ask a question. And this isn't an extreme case. There's actually concerns in the UK court in regards to genetic mothers not having access their children. All right, let me just bring in uh, w- one last call on this. Darren, you're on 98 FM. How are you, Darren? How's it going? Good, thanks, Darren. What did you want to say? I'm just thinking of a fact that nobody, nobody ever seems to consider in this whole... T- a couple of things that no one's ever seemed to consider. First of all, the skill factor. When the children go factor. to school, Yeah. Children go to school now, they learn the biology in school. They learn the facts of life. They mm-hmm. get told mother and father do this, and then the story, here we have a baby. That's the basic long and short way. And then they're going to come home from school with that thinking in their head and they're going to see two fathers or they're going to see two mothers. That's going to cause God knows what kinds of confusion in the child's head. The child is also going to be subject, we all know, we're out fact, subject to bullying in school for the fact that they have two mothers or that they have two fathers. That's going to happen to the child. We're talking about Irish school and Irish kids. I, uh, but but, but sorry, 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 Darren, I, I do believe that things are changing, that t- uh, kids don't bully kids as much. Now, I'm not saying they don't, but as much as they would have in the past for being gay, for example. Teenagers, yeah, in, they, teenagers the, in school are a, able to much easier come out as gay because it's not such an unusual thing anymore. That's true. Teenagers. But I'm not talking about teenagers. I'm talking about 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years of age around the age is where they learn these things in school. That's where the bullying's going to kick in, probably earlier than that. But the, another major factor that nobody seems to have thought about ever in any of the marriage referendums or anything like that is, is something I think is very important. If the marriage referendum had have been passed, we'll say, 100 years ago, and 10% of the Irish population 100 years ago came out as gay and got into um, same-sex marriages and all the rest of it, well, then now, today, we wouldn't have at least half a million people alive today that we do have today, simply because of that fact. Because those couples from 100 years ago wouldn't have been able to procreate, wouldn't procreate. Now, we have male, cu- male married couples nowadays and female married couples nowadays who have no intentions of having children. They'll never have children. Now, if you extrapolate that from now to 100 years from now, mm-hmm. that's going to be millions of people that won't be born. Millions. If that was 100 years ago and the tempers and the, um, the marriage referendum had been passed 100 years ago, one of my tenants 
he's now the great bloke. I have two tenants and I have them with me now 12 years. They're in a, a same sex uh, relationship, two men. And I'm not joking you. The two of the best blokes you could ever meet. I get on great with them. They look after my property. They treat them like the Taj Mahal. They're great in every way, shape or form. They've never been short in 12 years with their rent in any way, shape or form. But one crucial factor is them two boys have never ha- will never have children. They've no intentions of having children. They never have children. There's loads of couples are like that. Just, no, but just let me finish. One of them has two children. He's an older man. He has two children. But he had them two children before all of the whole mass mar- marriage referendum thing all came out. Mm-hmm. Now, you, you reversed that marriage referendum 20 years. And them two children that he has wouldn't exist. It's a, it's a little bit... <laughs> Firstly, uh, okay. Firstly, Darren. Uh, uh, firstly, Darren, we have a po- uh, a planet that is overpopulated. Okay, there's too many people on the planet. So um, anything. Well, that there's, there's not really too many people there is, on the planet. There is. The planet is colossal. Yeah, but there's, 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 too many, there's too many people in the little towns, in the little villages, in the little cities. There's more than enough land on this planet to accommodate. To accommodate Ten times the population. Okay, the here's here's the question though. Um, uh, we have a uh, this statement or this um, commentary that was written in a, um, one of the newspapers where uh, the columnist said that um, despite the fact that countless single parents do a fantastic job, I still cling to the belief that children benefit from being brought up by a man and a woman. Do you agree with that? I would definitely agree with that. Definitely. You need a mother's influence. There's no. There's no. There's no. Um, Replicating a mother's influence with a man. It's impossible. A mother's influence, a mother is genetically different. Our ways of thinking, our ways of everything is totally different. Poor influence over a child can never be replicated by another man. Okay, and finally, uh, I, 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 finally, finally I, I want to just throw a point that was made earlier on. What do you say to people who call uh, people like you and John small, narrow minded people? Well, I wouldn't say I'm narrow-minded. What I've just ruined off to you there are facts. It's got nothing to do with a narrow-minded opinion. They're facts. What I've said to you is sheer facts. It's mathematics. It's undisputable. It, and the figure I gave of, of um, 10% 100 years ago acquainting to half a million people not existing now, that's, that's a low estimate. It will be a lot higher than that because 100 years ago, people's great-grandf- my great-grandfather, for instance, He's got 80, ch- I've got 80 cousins on one side of my family, 20 cousins on another side of my family. In my family alone, there's about 160, counting the adults as well, there's probably about 160, 170 descendants from my grandfather. Now, if my grandfather... No, I, I, look, Darren, I, I, I take the point that you're trying to make, but there are loads of couples who get married and don't have children. They don't get condemned for it. They I know, don't, but we're, they not don't talk, get... we're not talking about that. We're yeah, but not talking uh, about... No, I, 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 I understand that, but... But population is population, and it's, it's as simple as that. We're basically talking about... No, I, I, I know. I know what you're getting at. I know. I know the points that you're getting at. I don't know if a lot of people will agree with you. But look, Darren, I'm, I, I really appreciate your call. But thanks very much indeed. I'm way out of time. You're listening to 98 FM's Dublin Talks. 98 FM. This is 98 FM's Dublin Talks with Adrian Kennedy. Weekdays from 10 a.m. on 98 FM.